Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women, children, and men cases. We are here to break the clothes that we see in here. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see their alive, deceased, body suited, change your ethnic to see, misidentity, or body suited. The Irish and those involved, white supremacists, African American, and the KKK. Um, I've been going through a lot of panic attacks because a lot of people are praying. And I, I, I'm just a messenger, okay? Y'all feel the praise of the most high. I don't know why I get the messages. Now, this is another new site that I done found, okay? That my grandma just told me about on her page, which is um, Crime Nor, N O I R, the Pride Podcast. They got cases on here, but they also got other serial killers that we don't know about, okay? But before I begin with the, with the serial killer that finna blow y'all fucking mind. I'm going to tell you what this page is all about. Okay. Crime Noir, a podcast that highlights cases on missing black men, women, and children, was created by the host, Kendish, to bring attention to crimes committed against the black community. Okay, that sounds like me. Candace's interest in all things crime-related led her to recognize the lack of media coverage given to cases involving black victims. Thus, in 2019, Candace launched her very own platform to bring coverage to those particular cases. Since its inception, Crime Noir has received praise and was recently featured on www.blackvivity.com, a popular news hub for forward-thinking black millennials pushing the boundaries of culture and the status quo. Candace's passion for crime and dedication to telling these stories can be heard and filled through each case that she covers. Grab your coffee and your headphone, headphones and join the host, Candace, for an episode of Crime Noir. Stay in the know. Join Crime Noir's host, Candace, for a weekly in-depth discussion for all things true crime. Yes, I'm on SoundCloud, y'all. Just type in crime nor the post. I'm on SoundCloud. About. For years, the media has failed us by inaccurately and inaccurately covering criminal cases revolving around black people all across the diaspora. Crime nor was created by host Kenneth is here to reclaim our narrative with a deliberated, drawy, and yet careful perspective. Listeners will be involved by a variety of cases ranging from the unsolved disappearances of black people to those solved and unreported. Crime Noir is an authentic attempt to replace misinformation and speculations with a dedication to truth as well as reify inclusions with the re-examining of case, cases all but forgotten and stripped away. Okay, so let's begin. We be talking about this serial killer, Michael B. Jordan. He go by Michael Madison. Michael Madison is a serial killer from East Cleveland, Ohio. Who? Michael was after from 2003 to 2013, and he is responsible for murdering at least three women. 28-year-old Shatisha Sheely, 38 Angela Deskins, and 18-year-old Shereda Terry. On July the 19th, 2013, law enforcement officials responded to reports of foul odor. It was there police were led to a garage which they had been leased to Michael. There they found a decaying body inside. They did search a backyard in a basement of a home, which contained two more bodies. Michael's home was searched and more evidence of decomposition was discovered. Michael was eventually arrested and charged with three aggravated murder charges. He was found guilty and sentenced to death in 2016. John Crime Noir's host, Candace, and handcuffed the podcast host, Rena, for an in-depth discussion on the serial killer, Michael Madison. Please like, share, and subscribe to Crime Noir. Follow Crime Noir on Twitter, Crime X Noir. Follow Crime Noir on Instagram, Crime Noir the Podcast. 
Follow Crime Noir on SoundCloud. On SoundCloud. Crime Noir the podcast. If you would like a specific case covered, feel free to email Crime Noir the podcast at gmail.com with your suggestions. Okay? So remember that face. I'm hearing he done did it to multiple women, not just them three, okay? Maybe the box mother is gone. You know, the boss's sisters and shit think they mother is gone. But it's not like me, her, and my my girl, you know. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you like the help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because I love to do. Peace.